your marriage, your relationship is not meant to, so to say, give you value. You are to be full value before you come into the relationship. If you are seeking value, don't seek it in a relationship. Don't seek it in anything. You have to first of all create it. Hello, powerful one. Welcome to this edition of Inner Growth to Says Why Are You Here? Today, let's look at why you may not be happy in that relationship. You know, when it comes to relationship, people are always of the desire to have someone that will be nice to them. Their entirety is devoted to finding the right mate that fits their picture, their idea of a mate. Therefore, whenever they get one and things are not coming out the way they expect, they always see it as the other person's fault. The question is, is it always the fault of the other person? It is very easy to answer if somebody were involved in a relationship that is abusive. You say, okay, the man or the woman is violent. That is why it is that way. But what if it has nothing to really do with the person that is perceived to be abusive? What if you were the person carrying yourself wherever you go? Recently, the talk on social media here in Nigeria has been when the marriage is not working, take a walk. Just walk away. Walk away to where? You are taking yourself with you wherever you go. Remember that. So you take yourself to the next house, to the next relationship, and you begin to catalyze the same experience that you have been complaining about. So how are you going to manage your life when you haven't really managed your human system effectively to match the challenges of life. Well, it sounds cryptic, right? Well, I'll tell you this. It is not as difficult as you think. Whatever we get, we have it always coming. Well, we we'll see more of this when we come back from this break. I am Usaizwa Anthony Elimihe. You know me. I am in the game of helping you grow from inside out. That is the dream. Welcome back. Yes, the relationship that is abusive. You think it is the fault of the other guy, right? We always see it as the fault of the other person. The woman sees it as the fault of the man. The man sees it as the fault of the woman. Sometimes it's even the fault of the mother-in-law, the father-in-law, the family members. Because whoever has a problem must always have somebody to blame it on. Because as he says, blame it on the rain, blame it on the weather, but don't ever put the blame on you. Remember on this channel, we always tell you, do not put the blame upon yourself. But we also tell you, don't place the blame on anybody or anything. The reason is this, wherever you place your blame is the source of your weakness. In other words, whoever you place the blame on has power over you. So take responsibility, don't take the blame or the responsibility. What is it? I am committed to making my relationships better. I am committed to making my life better than it is right now. Forget about looking for the right partner because we all, all of us, always get the right partners. It is the frequency that you operate at that we attract the mate you find. If you are finding a mate that consistently brutalizes you, it simply means that you are operating at the frequency of blame. If you have a mate that is always body shaming you and making you feel ashamed and making you smaller than you really are. I'll tell you this, you are operating at the frequency of shame, which is the lowest of frequencies. If you have a mate that you always instigate his anger or her anger at the slightest provocation, 
that is where you belong. You are functioning at the frequency of anger. So you need to rise, elevate your frequency. And how do you do that? Well, watch my video on why your frequency is low. I have a few videos on frequencies. So watch them so that you can have an idea of what it is. Well, you see, one of the things that makes us have low frequency is that we are holding on to the definition of life that was given to us at some point in the past. Those disempowering definitions. You are not good enough. You are weak. You are not responsible. You will not amount to anything good. You are just like your father. You are just like your mother. You are like your mother's family. You are like your father's family. So those are the things. When you carry such message locked up as a program at the back of your mind, working at your subconscious, your frequency are bound to be low. If you have somebody that offended you at some point in your past that you have not forgiven, you carry anger against that person. Anger will lock you down at the frequency of anger. And then you'll be attracting things that are from that frequency. When it said, forgive and forget, the expression is not actually meant for the person you are forgiving and forgetting. It is meant for you, that you might heal. So forgiving is a human quality that is intended to heal us and place us in better stead. When you are able to forgive, you heal faster and then you rise above the frequency of the injury. And then the injurer will not be able to come back to you because you have risen above that level. Now, you say you need to walk out of the relationship. If you walk out of the relationship, you are walking out with yourself. And what is the thing that is causing your problem? Yourself. That is what is the source of the problem. You are taking it with you wherever you go. A lot of us have converted innocent women, innocent men, to being something less because of our frequencies. People have latent violent traits in them that have not been expressed, that have not been activated. When you come into their life carrying that negativity, you will activate it. And they end up being brutal. And they hate themselves for doing it and they hate you even more for making them do it. It would be better that you walk into a relationship and because of your high vibe, you are able to extinguish the latency of negativity in them and make them better. And that is the purpose of a relationship anyway. You have to enter a relationship, come with your best, and help the other partner to rise. But when you are locked on the same frequency, and neither of you is willing to grow, and you are always in the business of blame trading, you will be spotified in that frequency and the only way is that you will go down. Because in nature, you can't be static. You either are moving up or you are moving down. Either you are moving forward or you are moving backwards. You can't just remain in one place for long. People who are in the frequency of anger, they soon come down to the frequency of shame, which is the lowest of frequencies. It is the life that you choose that you have. Nobody forces a life on another. It is not done. You are as you dream. Remember, your feeling is the sum total of your life. It is as you feel that your life becomes. And before you can feel, you must have a thought. Your thought begets your feeling. And your belief begets your thought. Belief, thought, feeling equal reality. How are you feeling right now? I'm not asking you how you're feeling about the weather. That's a long shot. I'm not asking you how you feel about someone else. I'm not asking you how you feel about your future per se, but I'm asking you, how do you feel about yourself? When you are looking at the mirror, what do you see? Do you see a victim? Do you see a loser? Do you see somebody who is angry? Do you see somebody that is trying to become something so that he might prove to the world that there are something? Are you looking at somebody who feels suppressed and compressed? That is not the real you, my friend. It's not. The real you is far better than that. Dig for it. It is buried in the debris of experiences. You are more powerful than you think. Don't allow laziness keep you from digging for your person. You're not going to look for it outside because it's not out there. 
It's not out in that mate. It's not out in that relationship. It is in you. Make that relationship you are in work now. Don't run away. Solve the problem. Now you ask me, how am I going to solve the problem of a relationship in which I'm being battered? I say to you, how do you solve the problem of a piece of cloth that is soiled or solid? You get a soap, you get water, you spend some time and effort in the wash. So, what am I saying? Wash your self image, wash it clean. When you feel good about yourself, nobody can oppress you, nobody can brutalize you. You are the one that provides people with the raw materials with which they suppress and depress you. It doesn't come from outside. There is nothing that is coming from outside that can get you. If it does not come from inside, it can hurt you. So, rethink your life and rethink it very, very well. Because the raw materials for your realities are within you. So, when you wake up first thing in the morning, decide how you want your life to be. If you just had a fight tonight with your husband, with your wife, or your boyfriend, or your fiancé, or your girlfriend, whichever, and you think you still like this person, but the only thing you don't like about this person is the person's violence, the person's negativities, wake up that morning and say to yourself, I am worthy of the relationship of my dream. I am worthy of honor. All the habits, all the traits that tend towards this life that I have chosen, I am open to them and I welcome them with the whole of my heart. I send blessings to my beloved. I wish him the best that there can be in life. I owe him love. I owe him devotion. And I'm willing to give it. But first, he or she has to be my beloved. Whatever it takes for him to become that beloved that I have always seen in him, I welcome it in his life and in my life. Let me say this thing. I said it in one of my videos. Sometimes a spouse brutalizes another. And that spouse comes back crying, begging, promising never to do it again. Now, they settle. All is well, easy peasy. They live well, like cheese and butter. Then, what happens? Because the other mate still has it at the back of the mind that this is brutal. This person is an abuser. As long as you keep that memory alive, as long as you keep that story alive, that story, that memory, being powered by your presence and your energy will trigger a repeat performance of that event in the nearest future. This is why we say, forgive and forget. The forgiving part is not possible unless you forget. A lot of people say, I can forgive, but I can't forget. No, the forgetting is not memory of the event. I've already said it in some of the videos. It is not memory of the event. It is the memory of the injury from the event. It is your interpretation of the event. That is what you should forget. The hurts, the injuries. When you forget them, you will heal. When you heal, you will have a new life. Remember what happens to a tree that is cut? When it heals, it grows again. It sprouts again. You are like that. This world, the life we are living in, this earth, is a garden. It is meant for growing. Grow. This world is a school. It is meant for learning. Learn. Okay? And this world is a marketplace. It is meant for exchange of value. Make a value out of yourself. It is the value that you place on yourself mentally. You don't have to say it with your mouth. It is this value you place upon yourself that determines what people bring into your life. My people say, that if the owner of a piece of cloth considers it rag, others will pack death with it. How is your life? Don't make it a punching bag. Don't make it a spitting bucket. Don't convert it to a gutter. 
elevate your sense of self. Talk to yourself, spend more time with yourself. There are a few videos on this channel that you can watch that will help you lift your sense of self. Tell yourself, I am worthy of life. I am worthy of the very best that life can bring. I have all it takes in me to be what I ever want to be. I am powerful, I am wealthy, I am worthy, and I am healthy. You are healthy psychologically, you are healthy physically, you are healthy environmentally, you are healthy mentally, you are healthy energetically and psychically. You are all round health. Be conscious of that and find your happiness because without your happiness, growth is impossible. Because your happiness is the stream of life connected to the tributary of life, which is your higher self, and that connects you to the source, the ocean of all beings and of all possibilities. Don't walk away from the relationship. Walk away from the mentality that informs the relationship. Otherwise, the next relationship you are going to take yourself into it and you will continue the cycle again. Wow, that is all I can say for now. If this video makes sense to you, if it communicates with you, would it not be proper for you to share it with other people? Right? Share it. We will be happy that you share it because we will be growing. As long as we grow, we will do more videos. Make your comments. Feel free to disagree with us. If you agree with us, feel free to air it. If you don't agree, Hey, it will throw more light on it. We are here to serve you. Make us serve you. Let us know what you're thinking about all these things we're saying. God bless you. Until we see you again on the next episode, I still remain your beloved host, Kosezwa, until you end with him. You are a growing concern. It is well with you. God bless you.